This is what I would do if I had to learn Spanish all over again, start from zero, and, and basically the method that I would use to be able to practice and learn Spanish as quickly as possible. Obviously, it can be overwhelming when you're first starting to learn Spanish, or even if you're an intermediate or an advanced learner, because you're thinking all these different conjugations, all of these, these different words and vocabulary, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that my biggest tip is focus on the verbs and the conjugation and the vocabulary will just come with time. So this method kind of revolves around that. I'm gonna show you my favorite ways, my strategies and resources that I would use personally and that I used to use, of course, to learn and accelerate my Spanish learning. And this works, again, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced learner. It's all about taking what you know and using this practice method and applying it to what you already know so that you can learn faster. I'm gonna start off with the resources that I would use because you need to know how to practice once you apply this method. So I would personally use something like ChatGPT, some sort of AI software. There's also apps like Tandem and HelloTalk that'll connect you with some native speakers for free. Uh, you could pay a tutor like on italki or apps like that. Again, these resources revolve around being able to speak and practice your forming of sentences. And I'll show you how I recommend you do that in a second. But those are the resources that I would personally recommend in 2024. I wish that I had these resources personally. I had some of them, obviously. I had like private lessons that I would look for. Um, I used like HelloTalk and Tandem back when I was learning a few years ago. But I really wish that I had AI like ChatGPT that I could have, you know, some fake artificial intelligence uh, conversations. But obviously, that's the thing now and it wasn't when I was learning. Not that I'm old or anything. And just real quick, before I get into my favorite ways to practice, I do wanna invite you to my free training. This free training is just gonna go more into depth on the specific three strategies that I would recommend you use to accelerate your Spanish learning. And it's all about becoming fluent within a year and getting you to speak Spanish within just a couple of months from that free training. And also at the end of that free training, you're gonna hear more about my full paid Spanish program. It's called A to Z Spanish University. It teaches you every single verb tense and conjugation you would need to know in Spanish within a matter of months, along with how to form sentences, all the grammar rules in an easy to understand way. And if you sign up for that free training, you get a special discount and some extra bonuses that you wouldn't get otherwise if you hadn't signed up for that free training. So click on the link in the description to check that out now. And sorry to babble on about that. I just hope that that is of some use to you. So let's get back to my favorite ways to practice and how you definitely need to be. So remember that you need to be speaking and forming sentences in Spanish. This is gonna accelerate your Spanish learning. I say that all the time, but I can't say it enough. And there's really two methods we're gonna dive into. So the first one is focusing on five verbs instead of 50 or 500 verbs, okay? I'd rather you focus on 10 verbs than 100 when you're trying to master a certain conjugation and you're trying to you know, conjugate for all these different subjects. And English is really easy because if we say I talk, it's I talk, you talk, they talk, we talk, and then he or she talks with an S. But you know, in Spanish it could be hablo, hablas, hablan, hablamos, etc. There's all these different ways to conjugate depending on subjects. And don't even get me started on when you start using different tenses like the past and the future and the subjunctive and all of this other stuff. That's why you have to focus on the verbs first in order to accelerate your Spanish learning and to be able to form sentences. Because if you can't communicate in the past, present, future, and all these different tenses, how do you expect to realistically have a good conversation with a native speaker. It's common sense, right? So why do I say focus on five verbs instead of 50? Well, Spanish conjugations follow patterns. What I see a lot of people do is they try to just focus on all of these different verbs at one time. Whereas if you would just take like five regular verbs and let's say you're working on the past preterite tense. Okay, we'll conjugate those five different verbs in the past preterite tense and for every single different subject and constantly just conjugate, 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 form sentences, make up sentences with that one verb and that one tense until you completely master it and you don't have to even think about it. It just naturally comes out where you associate that word and that conjugation for that subject with the meaning and not the translation in English necessarily. Because if you were to do this with five verbs and get really good at just those five verbs, it makes those other 50 so much easier to learn and you're gonna learn them so much faster because again, it follows patterns. Right now, if I learn a new verb, some weird new verb in Spanish that I had never heard before, then I can automatically know how to conjugate it because I am so fluent in my head with all of the different conjugation patterns and all of the different tenses and with all of the different subjects because I've done it a hundred times. So start small. 
and then start adding in a, a couple more verbs. And you'll notice that when you start adding in that sixth, seventh, and eighth verb in that tense, it almost becomes natural to conjugate because you did those other five and you mastered those. So the less you learn, the more you'll learn. That makes sense. Now the next method is really just taking it a step further and it's about trying to switch your brain into thinking in Spanish rather than translating. Obviously you will have to translate in the beginning and when you're doing all of this practice but what this practice allows you to do is it gets you away from translating word for word everything and it gets you more into just associating the tense and the subject and whatnot with the meaning. And you'll notice yourself being a more natural speaker because of this practice, because if you just try to overwhelm yourself with 50, 100 different verbs and conjugations and all these different tenses at once, I mean, I'm getting overwhelmed just thinking about that. Whereas if you just go, instead of learning you know, 100 different verbs, I'm just gonna learn five or 10. And then all of a sudden it becomes so much less stressful, it becomes more fun. And I get this question a lot whenever I talk about this method is, hey, what verbs? It doesn't matter. It just matters that you pick some probably regular verbs because irregular verbs can, I, mean, I would do a separate practice for maybe take three irregular verbs because even irregular verbs follow patterns. Take regular verbs at first because you know that when you start adding in other regular verbs, it follows a very consistent conjugation pattern. So it doesn't matter what verbs you do, I just recommend that you make verbs that are useful to your life. You know, don't, don't talk about a verb that you're likely not gonna use in everyday conversation. Think about how you can use these verbs and make realistic conversations. Like if you're not gonna say the apple is green, like don't learn how to say that. But if you're more likely to say, hey, every day I go to Pilates, you know, that, that's, a, that's more useful for you to learn how to say rather than saying the apple is green, right? So learn vocabulary and verbs that are useful to you in the beginning and then all that other stuff will come with time. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in my free training or my full Spanish program and learning more about what that entails, click on the link in the description below to sign up for that free training. I highly encourage you to check it out. Please subscribe and comment any Spanish questions you have and I'll be sure to make some videos on that in the future. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Michael Harbor Spanish, go do that right now. Thanks for showing up. See you in the next video. Ciao.